YouTube welcome welcome back to a brand new video and today I'm going to show you guys how to make this really cool RPG health bar slash mana bar uh, UI so uh, yeah let's get right into it um, this should not be too complicated however the only thing is this these green dots I guess these are like what ability points I don't know but um, yeah, it doesn't look like it will work for an EXP bar, even though it's green, so... But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna make that anyways, so this should not be too difficult. Uh, let's get right into it. First things first, let's make a new layer. And I'm gonna head to my shape tool right here. It's just above the hand tool right here. If you click and hold, it will open this drop down. Uh, we're gonna go for the ellipse tool. And as you can see, this gray color, I'm just gonna hold alt click on this gray color right here I'm gonna hold shift and alt as I drag this shape out to create this as you can see alright now I'm just gonna hit ctrl J to duplicate uh, this layer I'm gonna go back to my shape tool go up to fill I'm gonna turn this off so hit this button and then I'm gonna go to stroke and turn this on so hit this button and my color is blue which is okay for now Let's uh, make this 12, actually 10 should work fine. Uh, make sure this is on a shape, by the way, and not path. So right here is fine, okay. I'm going to right click on this new layer, this ring, there we go, blending options, and I'm going to hit gradient overlay right here. And my angle is at 90, I'm going to click on this box to open the gradient editor, I'm just going to double click here. Select on this bottom color right here, as you can see. I'm gonna hit OK. Click on the second box and click on this top color here. Right. And we can also click right here to create a middle ticker, a middle tick. So we could grab a color for the middle as well. Let's make this a bit. Uh, let's go for this one. That's nice. Okay, let's hit OK. Hit OK again, and there we go. Alright, um, also I'm thinking to add a stroke. I think that'll look nice. So, opacity all the way up, obviously. Um, uh, blend mode, normal, and the color. Let's go for a dark, really dark color. Kind of like this. If we zoom in, you can see, right? Go for even darker. Not that. Uh, this is fine, I guess. Just like that. Alright. I like that. Okay. Alright, so I just went ahead and popped in this render that I have. Uh, I'm just going to drag this here and right click, create clipping mask right here to clip this in. So, as you guys can see, this looks pretty neat. Uh, yeah, okay. So, let's see the level here. We could quite literally just duplicate these two, so hold control, click on both. Uh, control J to make a copy. We're gonna hit Control G to group this up as well. Control T. To make sure to check our store at gfxcomet.com. We have free templates, free graphics packs, as well as user interface and much more you can check out at our store. Thank you for all the support. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy this video. To bring up free transform. And now we can just scale this down, as you can see right here. Um, this is this has to be readjusted. So back to our shape tool, put this on five, and this should be perfectly fine, as you can see. All right, next let's make a new layer. We're now going to move on to this actual part. So here is how we're going to make this part. Let's go ahead and hmm. All right. Let's pencil shape, stroke is off, fill is on. We're just gonna click right here. We're just gonna click right here. Click and slightly and slightly drag up. We're gonna hold Alt, click on the split square. Just click here and curve this out. Go straight. Curve this up, hold Alt, click. Curve this down, hold Alt, click. Curve this. I'll click and lower the opacity because they can't really see right here. Right. Curve this slightly, just like that. 
And we're just gonna go straight like that. There we go. Turn this back up. Alright, so this is going to go behind everything, as you can see. I'm gonna go control T and enlarge this. Alright, so this should fit right here. Like that. Slightly larger, I suppose. Alright, move this up. This will go right here. Okay. Alright, that's all nice. And now let's make a new layer again. Back to our pencil and make the outlines here. So how we are going to achieve that is we're gonna turn fill off. Let's go stroke, turn this on to white. And let's keep this on. All right, let's just try this out first. So let's just try this out first. So this is how this is gonna work. We're gonna go here. We're just going to follow the outside, okay? Let's go here. Oops, all right, let's go here. And now we can adjust this to five, perhaps, and make sure these are sharp corners. Like that, that's good, all right. I'm gonna go straight here, I'm go up. I'm go down. And right here goes down a little bit before it goes. Follow this curve though, make sure it follows. Before it goes straight here. Is there enough space for the man bar? Um I, need to, I think right here should be fine. Alright, let's go straight here. Alright, make a new layer. And we're just going to continue this. So continue down. This will go up here, readjust this to 5, and make sure these are sharp corners, and we're just going to go straight. Make sure this is aligned, looks perfect, uh, let's take these two, click, uh, control G to group, control J to copy, and control E to flatten uh, this, now I'm just going to hit right click. Let's go into blending options here. And let's do a gradient overlay. Let's click on this box. And for the bottom color, you can see the gradient goes up. So let's click on this first color. Here is the middle color. And for the top, here is the top color. I suppose we could add a bevel emboss to this to make it look nice, I guess. Turn this down. You can see, it looks really nice. I like it. All right, now let's make the actual bars. Let's make a new layer. And let's go shape, turn shape, turn fill on, I mean, and turn stroke off. We're gonna start right here. Go straight, up, Maybe zoom in. This is going to curve up. This will now curve down. This will curve slightly down. Like that. This will go here. And we're just gonna curve this like that. Make sure we get this right, hold on. All right. Okay, let's change the color to this nice red. There we go. I'm going to go into blending options and let's go for a bevel emboss. This overlay has to be normal so we can actually see it. I'm going to go chisel hard for this one. Uh, yeah, this looks nice. This is going to go like that. And I'm going to use a satin for the middle. I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you guys how this works in just a bit. Maybe like that. Um, I'm gonna go for inner shadow. You could just copy my settings here. I'm gonna go for something like this. I think that'd be pretty cool. Overlay. There we go. Alright, I like that. 
And now we're just gonna do the mana bar down here. So same thing. Let's start. Uh, let's grab a ruler so we get the exact area. Let me start here. And then pencil right here. Let's go down. Up. Up here. And then we'll just go all the way here. Curve back up. And with the mana bar, it selects on the color. I'm gonna go for a slightly brighter color here. And I'm, uh, I'm gonna go to the health bar, right click. Copy layer style, and right click. Paste layer style. And as you can see, it looks pretty cool. I think. I'm gonna, add, I'm gonna change the inner shadow, actually. I'm gonna go for something up top. There we go. That's what I was looking for. That's good. Just like that. Perfect. Okay. Let's right click, copy. And also, one last thing. I want to make this part softer. It's slightly. It's a bit too sharp. There we go. I'll just run it off. Just like that. Right click, copy layer sound, right click, paste back. All right, these little circles, we could just copy these. We could just duplicate these, very simple. So this will go right here. One, two, four, and five. And for this middle part, I'm gonna copy this and call this green because we're just going to double click, put in this nice green color, right click, blending options, let's go for inner shadow, and it will be negative, not negative, it will be 90, and just go like that. Inner shadow for the bottom, negative 90, negative 90, this will go right here. Overlay. And as you can see, that looks pretty good to me. Let's go move this here. And for the third one, this will go right here. And there you guys have it. That is how you can make this really cool RPG health bar, mana bar, uh, profile UI thing. If you guys enjoyed and this helps you, make sure to share this video, also drop a like, subscribe for more, check out our store, discord, and with that being said, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.